Steve McCurry is an American photojournalist who is a member of Magnum Photos and has also done some assignments for National Geographic. He's photographed all around the world but focuses mainly on the impact of war to humans and the environment. Here's an example of a typical photo from McCurry. It is a shot of a refugee child in Afghanistan. This was during his most notable journey and what launched his career as he traveled through Afghanistan disguised with the film from his photos sewn into his clothes. This image, Afghan Girl, is his most famous piece. It has been featured on the cover of National Geographic multiple times. Taken in Afghanistan in 1984, it's the intense image of a refugee woman staring into the camera. This piece proved to me how important his work is to the field of photography as it quickly became the symbol of defiance. It drew the attention of millions to the suffering of children in war, making it a significant photo in our history. His pieces like these clearly place him under the ethically evaluated photography category, unlike his other images which are mainly aesthetically evaluated photographs. Aside from his common practice of photography where he captures victims of war, McCurry does also not shy away from capturing the landscape of the places he travels, seen here with this beautiful shot of a valley in New Zealand. He also captures the wildlife along his journeys, shown in these shots from Ecuador and the Arctic of a gorilla and a walrus. His photography is centered around focusing on a subject while manipulating light. Many of his outdoor photos are taken shortly after sunrise and before sunset so the light is flattering for the subject. Seen here is a child celebrating Dia de los Muertos in Ocaxa, Mexico, where you can see how he uses the light in a flattering way for the subject. He takes all of his photos on a Nikon since it's easier to carry and in his opinion is the best camera for this type of photography. Steve McCurry sets up his exhibitions all around the world. He currently has one set up in Paris, France, and has many planned for the remainder of 2022 in places like Italy, Spain, Austria, and the U.S. The one pictured is about to open up in Vienna, Austria. Most of these exhibitions are just reserved galleries, but some, like the one in Paris, which is currently in Musée Malou, are featured in museums. This shows how Steve McCurry has perfected his craft and has used it to spread awareness of victims, but also the culture of countries all around the world.